What is going on everybody? It is Frank the Tank and welcome back to PBA Pro Bowling 2023. Uh, been a while, been a number of months I want to say since we last did this and I've had to put it off because of uh, my real life schedule taking over and uh, also league bowling and all that stuff, me being more focused on that and uh, yeah, something had to go and that something was this and uh, I, I kind of do feel bad that I left you guys hanging, you know, with this uh, because, you know, it was a lot more well received than I thought it would be. And yeah, for me to just, you know, take it off my, uh, I guess, upload schedule, I want to say. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I did have a little bit of regret on that. But, you know, uh, because of uh, the severe, I, I want to say severe weather conditions that we've been having, you know, we've had a, a, a bit of flooding here, surprisingly. It's the first time I'm, I've ever had to deal with something like that. It, it hasn't affected me greatly, but yeah, there has been some flooding and all that stuff. And it just hasn't been worth the risk for me to go out there and bowl because of the the crazy weather that we've been having so because of that i've had to uh, postpone week number 17 of league bowling and because of that i've had nothing else to do uh, and well now because of that i've had time to get back to this so here we are so uh yeah it's been quite some time and oh yeah i remember we are on the, the tournament of champions uh that's uh quite a bad time to be uh, leaving this out, right? You know, right on the Tournament of Champions. So, uh, I, I kind of forgot how this is supposed to go. I mean, oh, that's right. Okay, so three games of pinfall, and then I believe we go to the, uh, what do you call that? The the next round, which is like, I, I can't remember. It's been such a long time, but I do remember the last time I purchased a new ball because I was like trying to go ham with the high road all, and all these events because uh, there were no other interesting balls that I could unlock and... Uh, I remember I think I got through that one event where like the high road just wasn't cutting it anymore and I needed to upgrade. I think that's what happened. Uh, the thing is is that I don't remember what that ball was that I purchased. Today the PBA but tour continues from Jupiter, Florida. We're going to look into this. And year. what is that? Let's see X to view Arsenal. Oh, the Optimus. That's right. It's I think this is the Pearl Optimus. That's cool. And then yeah, I had a, the Brain Spare Ball and then there's a high road. That's cool. All right. So Man, I should have practiced first before I turned on the camera. Uh, okay, wait. Th this might just click for me, because even though it's been a while, it, it might just click. So, uh, damn, I, what do I do? Okay, that. I, th I, th I think I'm getting this. I think I'm getting this. Um, I think, yes. Yeah, I remember now. It's all clicking. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. It's already clicking. I like it. Nice start, Rob. All right, so I think I did that, right? Went a little high, but that's... I like it. We already... Okay, now my worries are all... My worries, my concerns, all that stuff is out the window. This is nice. I'm loving it. Look at that. It's all coming back to me now. Takes care of the... All right, so we went high because we were a little slow like that, so clearly we need to pick up the pace. Oh yeah, huh? I forgot. The, the the conditions deteriorate a lot quicker in this game compared to the uh, last game. I think it was 2021 and so on and so forth. Alright, so we're going to go quicker. And the ball still hooks like great. Oh, the location wasn't... Well, that just happened. Uh, Looking for two straight here. Couldn't have said it better myself. Alright. Randy said the location wasn't right, but whatever. Uh, Alright, so I moved a little left, and got to be careful with the speed. I'm going to go with that speed because I'm worried about the... That's not bad. Uh, I didn't like the way it hit the pocket. Uh, I felt like that was lucky because it did make it to the pocket, but not... But when I do hit the pocket the way I want to, that happens. So I really, really like the way this ball is just grabbing at the friction and just getting back. Look at that. It's not like that high road that, like, it, it's got much more length, and it's a little slower, I want to say, around the corner. I mean, in real life, I don't know what it's like in this game. Like, watch. Let, let's, let's actually pick out this high road and just give it one shot. That Optimus Pearl definitely has more bite. See what I mean? Skids out there more and doesn't get back around the corner like you wanted to. I would have had to throw that a lot more slower. And that's pretty accurate, I, I, I gotta say. That's, uh, 
Like if we were to uh, take these two bowling balls in real life and try to use them, the high road no would get further down the lane and not really bite at the uh, at the dry part of the lane, like down lane, compared to this Optimus Pearl. And I know this is the Optimus Pearl because uh, I've seen the uh, the solid Optimus already. So yeah, this one definitely bites a lot more down lane. Take a look. See what I mean? Turns a lot quicker, a lot earlier. Oh boy, did not see that coming. Just okay, so I think that wraps up game number one, right and I'm having a little bit of trouble. It's obvious. 17th place with two games to go, 203. Not bad for our first game back in a, in a while, at least on this game. Uh, but um, even though I like the ball, uh, massive improvement over that high road. I don't know how I've been able to win titles in this game with that ball. Uh, but I, I got to admit that I really, really wasn't able to find something, like find a, a comfortable spot, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I got to figure it out now because I've got these two games left and yeah, I just don't know. So I, I okay, let's see. I started off, I shouldn't have moved where I was right there to begin with. That, that could have been a good spot to hold down the fort for a while. We're going to try that. See what happens. Wow, that really turned left, didn't it? Okay, so okay, I'm gonna go slightly more right of that and see if that's the right call. That's too slow, but it worked. And I guess that's where we're gonna be for two or three more shots. That was lucky. That was very lucky. I saw that seven. Uh oh. It was too late to turn back there. Like, I, I, okay, you saw. Like, most of the shots, I, I have those four arrows, and then it suddenly switched to the three. But it was too late. I had already let the ball go, and somehow that worked in the end. See, it went to three. See how right there, how it went from four to three. I messed that. I, I felt like I'd messed that up. Oh, jeez. Lucky that that wasn't a split or anything else. Oh, wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I, I keep forgetting this ball does have the power, the energy to really get back if you know what you're doing. That was insane. Ah, I let it go wrong. I forgot about that. No three arrows. I have to have all four arrows up there if I want that ball to really get back around. Okay, so we're still in trouble, and we got one game left. We're, we went from 17 down to 12, and we have 206, and I don't know that we're going to be able to qualify. I would really have to come up big in this last game if I want to qualify. All right, so we went nine spare in the first, and now we're back... In, on the Flying strike train, but I don't know here. if I'll be able to maintain that. Oh, geez. Oh, but that worked. Okay. Two wrongs made a right in the end. Two, I, I put two, a little too much speed, but I also messed up turkey. the release, and somehow it ended, up, it ended up working out in the end. Because, yeah, on the meter, I, I, I noticed. I, I put too much, but somehow it all worked out. That's a lot. But it somehow worked. There's another strike. Okay, I feel like I'm getting help from this game at this point, but there, there, I'm not Broken because there is no way. I swear it that like if any of you have not played this game, that there's no way the game helps you. There's no like assist or anything like that. So I'm not cheating. I swear. What have I done there? Another. Oh my goodness. Clearly, the game wants me to qualify for this TOC. And finally, the game has decided to stop oh, helping me. Oh, man. Okay, so we're moving slightly to the left now that that line has formed. And don't really know what to do as a result of this now. That was too much. And somehow I got help. That was a little too much speed, but I know now I need to decrease the speed. I was worried that if I would make the ball go too slow, it would probably go through the nose, or it would probably just go Brooklyn. 
that to me is going to be a little bit tricky for sure, is trying to get the right speed here. Yikes. Oh, that was perfect. That was so perfect. And that right there, folks. For and Christ's sakes. Will not Don't you just hate when the shot looks really, really good and it's like a like a definite strike, but then that kind of thing happens? Too slow. Yeah, see that's the kind of thing I was worried about. Only seven pins go down. Leaving the 3-6-10. This qualifier has come to a close. Match play is coming and up. And of be course, exciting. I don't think we qualified. I think that's game over for us already right there. Oh no, we did qualify. I didn't know that. I thought it... I forgot. Top 8 advance. You see, I was thinking that it, this thing... like I, I swear, in the last game, uh, the, the 2020 PBA game, or 2021, I can't remember which one, it was like... Uh, you play five games or three games, and then the top five qualify for the stepladder. I totally forgot that this thing has like an extra format to, like an extra round to it. I I, I was under the assumption that the, the, only the top five qualify. But no, it's top eight. All right, so we qualified for match play. Uh, don't know how, because th that to me was a pretty mediocre performance in the qualification stage. But we did it. So And now we have to endure four games of match play. Okay, so here we go. Match number one of four of uh, match play. We're going up against Tackett. I hope they fix that glitch because I remember now that there was that one glitch where it said I was facing this person, but it would end up being a different opponent. See, it says right there that it's Tackett, right? We're going to find out exactly who it is. That was a light hit, but I got him all the fall. Here with the strike. Nice way to start. And now here's a look All right, at it is Tackett. Tackett. We're going one-on-one -on -one with Tackett. The strongest strike ball on tour. He's bringing the fire already. With the oh, man. He's definitely bringing the fire right out of the gate. Yikes. Okay, see, that that kind of... I deserved that. I expected that to happen because... Uh, and that should have happened in the last shot, too, but... Uh, I got lucky, but not this time. Alright, so I know now not to add too much speed. That worked nicely. But we've given Tackett okay, the opportunity to the take the lead even further. And he has indeed taken that opportunity. This one. Three strikes to open. Looking for what right now, Randy? I believe that would be a hambo. All right. Uh, we have a window of opportunity now. Ringing now, because he's already in the fourth frame, closing it out, he has an opportunity for 279. Man. Meanwhile, I, on the other hand, I don't know what I have. I think I have an opportunity for something higher than that because I only nine spared in the second. Oh, that worked. Okay, so let me tell you what I was thinking of doing right there. Since uh, that lane has already looking like it's already looking like it has been used, you guys saw that line. Uh, I thought I'll go slightly to the right of that and decrease the speed because obviously I'm going out wider. So I need to get that ball to come back, and it worked. Meanwhile, this lane is a little bit fresher. You can see there, like look at the left lane. You see the the that dry line right there. It's a lot bigger than this one, so. I don't need to go out wide as much, so I don't need to, I need to add a little more speed to get the ball there, and I got very lucky, the got turkey. that 7 out. Shot right ah, Tackett bringing the strikes, that 9 spare did very little to affect Looking them. To keep it going here with two in a row. Oh man. Okay. All right, so you can see, like I said, I'm going slightly to the right of that dry line, and I'm going to decrease the speed a little bit, not too much, because that ball is obviously going, it's flirting with the gutter, and that was obviously a little too quick, but I got lucky again, and my score is coming along real nicely. Looking for a five-bagger now.
Now this line right here on this right lane is starting to get a little bit bigger, so I may have to start replicating whatever it is that I'm doing on that left lane. Might that be too slow? No, it is not. That was a proper hit. We found something, but I don't know for how long. All right, so with Tackett getting that strike, we're still ahead by 21 pins, but that can instantly change if I miss. And our lead gets bigger, but I can, that it only gets bigger if I strike. All right, you see that? This line continues to get bigger, and I'm kind of afraid now because, well, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to the gutter, you know? That, that last shot, whew, my goodness. So I think what I'm going to do is actually move to the left. It, sounds, it seems like a risky move, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, I think that might work. Oh my goodness, that's not getting back. That was way too quick so for, for that line that I was playing. Into the pit. Okay, so I know now playing that line, it gets the ball to really push way out there, and I need to have slower speed to get that ball to come back. So is that good enough? Still a little quick, but we were well. getting somewhere. No idea what but still, I can't afford to be doing this. Not now, because we are getting close to the end, and Tackett is catching us. The max scores weren't that far off. Oh, thank God, that helps us. All right. Takes out nine pins. If he uh, if if he were to strike out in the tenth, I'm sure that the max scores would be very close together, and I would have to do something really difficult in the tenth. But that definitely helps us. All right, so he's got his first in the tenth, and he can max out for 228 if he gets two more. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. And I. Well, now, because I was going to say all I needed was, like, at least a spare, I think. A spare and some count in the 10th just to beat him. And now with that, that uh, job gets a lot easier in the 10th. Yeah, I don't even think I need to strike, so that's good. I'm going to try going that slower. Oh, no. Didn't like it, and... Oh my goodness. That will do it for match one. Match two coming your way. Are back. you serious? I beat him by one. I thought I'd lost that. Alright, so here we go with game number two of four of match play, and we're in second place after that game. Uh, we're going up against Sean Rash. So far, so good. Sean Rash ready now, and this guy was a two time All American at Wichita State. Starts with the strike. You know, you always got to wonder in the beginning of the game, like right as it starts, like is this going to be that one game where they totally hit you with like a high game, like a 279 or a 290, 289, 300? I don't know about you guys, for, but, but for me personally, that's what I'm always wondering at the beginning. Is this that game? Like you see, like he's already got two strikes. Could this be that one type of game? Because it's already happened to me uh, like once or twice already in this series. All right, I know now what I need to do. Uh, I can't be too slow based off of that line that I'm playing. I need to go a little quicker, but not too quick. So we're really in a lot of trouble here now because we went seven spare and then open. And now he's kind of giving us some help. But chances are he will convert this. Not good. Oh, that was brutal. That had to hurt. So he's giving it right back to us. He's giving us a chance. Okay. I, I was worried that was a little too fast, but that was that was just right. Looking for two in a row. Here's the max scores if both players strike out. Slightly a little slower like than that right last shot that I took. Yeah, just... 
All right, so Rash is struggling to strike, and as am I, but uh, he's given us opportunities to get back into it, and we are not taking them. And we got to find a way to get back into this right now. So we moved a little bit more to the left this time. Hopefully that was the right move. Looks like it was. All right, so we've definitely got a chance here. That might be too slow. No, that was just right. Okay. Come on. This is a chance for an epic comeback right here. Come on. Too fast? Ah, oh, yes, it was too fast. All right, so now we really have to hope for a miracle here. But I don't think we're getting one. Down the lane. Looking to keep it going here with Oh man. Got it. Just what you want. He might shut it's us out at this TV. point. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. Trying to stay dialed in here with three straight strikes. We've got a chance, Picks but it's not going to be an easy one. All right, so he got 202. We're definitely going to have to double. So I'm going to move slightly to the left because I'm worried about all this dryness that's right here. Yikes! Okay, we got one. We've got one. Perfect delivery for the strike. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. All right, all right. I was—I think I was about right there. And I think it was. We got it. Two Ooh. in a row now. Hunting the turkey here. All right. So what do we need? Row. 85, 95. I definitely need some high count here. So. I'm not going to take any chances and just throw it down the middle. Oh, yeah! That's how we do it! 205 to 202. Another close game, but we got it. We're 2 0 in match play now. But I don't think that matters because I think, it, they, I think they base this off of like pin count. Who has a higher pin count? I don't know. All right, so going into match number three of four, uh, we're in first place. So uh, let's hope we can keep that. Welcome and um... to the Tournament of Champions. <gasps> I'm Rob Stone, and I'll be covering all the action here along with the Hall of Famer, Randy Peters. That can't be right. Players are all... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think this is the first time we are finally coming up against Belmonte. Now, I could be wrong. Like I said, correct me if I'm wrong here, but. Um, and I don't know what I've, I don't remember what I've done in past videos of uh, uh, pl me playing this game, but I'm pretty certain that we've never come up against Jason. So if, if this is the first time that we are coming up against him, then oh man, we're in for it now. So let's do this. All right, so we're moving a little bit more left. Uh, you know, uh, as you can see, that dry line is getting much bigger. So... Oh, the seven. Here's our first look at Jason. There he Belmonte is, from using the trend too. Two-handed style that he has made so popular. He's considered by oh my me God. the best player. In Super the world hot right out of the now, gate, this guy. More major tournaments than anyone in PBA history. It's scary. Exactly what you want. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Two for two, this guy. And there he is, wearing that uh, jersey that he had made back in like 2020, I think. I could tell the first to the face. Trouble. half of the lane that that, that was going to pick up early and just... Here. All right, so we're going to move a little more to the left and try to hit that exact same speed that I did in the, the previous shot as I feel that's the right call. Kinda, kinda. We saw what happened with that 10. Oh, got it a little bit left. And he went high as a result. As and there's the Belbo spare ball. No way. With a 98 conversion rate. I can't believe I'm actually seeing it in this game. That one up. Crazy that we're seeing the Belmo spare ball here on this game. Uh, and not on the bowling game that he created on the iPhone. And that buries you think the that they would put that in there first, but no. This is the, the first place where we're ever seeing that clear Belmo spare ball.
And if you ever wonder why that happened, uh, I don't really want to explain why. Maybe I'll explain at some point. I did say uh, I, in some video, I can't remember what video, it was way back, like two years ago. Uh, I heard from the developers themselves, uh, I was in contact with some of them, uh, from the uh, Bowling by Jason Belmonte game on the iPhone, they explained to me why they couldn't get the Belmo Spare Ball into the game. And, uh, well, here we are, and we finally get to see it. Lucky there again, we saw what's happening with the 10. I guess I was a little too much speed. I want to get my hands on that trend too. I love the ball in real life. Uh, it's, it's probably my number one favorite out of all the Belmont bowling balls. Six in a row. See what I mean? It's it's you so good. That, that ball is a perfect example of how cover stock really makes the difference because um, going for the hand ball. For those of you who don't know and don't really read into uh, what uh like the specs of a bowling ball and things like that and you know what what they do um ooh, that was a real nice shot and i increased the speed but okay so the trend the the first trend that they made the blue one the pro hands. one well, that's um kind of what we wanted that is basically the pro motion but instead they changed the cover stock made it a pearl cover the r2s like they did on the high road pearl uh with the same uh piston core that they put in the pro motion right and then they all right we got another one okay that, that's real good we're on track here but yeah the trend too what they did with it was they made some modifications to the piston core they took some bits and pieces off uh, and what that did to the ball was that it increased the rg and it decreased the differentials so that means that the ball would technically go much longer than the trend and would not hook as much it wouldn't be as strong getting around the corner the as um the trend and um it doesn't look that way when you throw it but the and thing the that saves it here. the thing that makes up for all of that is plane. the cover that they put on it i don't know what uh i think that's called lrg hybrid cover is what they wrapped around that trend down. too so that's why it doesn't look weaker than the trend. So this is a perfect example of why cover stock makes a huge difference here. Jason, what have you done? That's a sweet he missed miss. the seven. That's embarrassing. Look at him. Down on his knees. He knows Looking he just messed up. And we now have been gifted a golden opportunity. And these lines, man, these... Oh, man, this pattern is deteriorating right before our very eyes. Oh! Not a great shot there. So I did move slightly left, so well, I have to perfect. decrease the speed just, just a little perfect. bit, not too much. Well, he recovered pretty well from that uh, seven, uh, that seven pin miss. At least that's how I see it. Ooh, so that gives us a chance to win this. Well, it makes our chances easier in the tenth. Two for two. He wants to make us work in the tenth. This time, great ball roll, great location. Looking for two straight here. No, I mean, well, one for two, because I forgot he nine spared first. So, let's see what we can do here. I think that should work. Aye, that was... Uh, he has wrapped it up with that one. Now at two that was such a row. close call, but we got the win. We, we got made. him. We beat him. I want to say for the first time. Uh, that we're facing him uh, again I don't know if I've already faced him in past videos but right now it feels like this is the first time that we're facing him that might have been too quick yeah a little quick oh my heavens that was surprisingly intense uh, you know I, but I, I didn't feel the intensity because I was too busy giving you guys a little history lesson on the trend and the trend two and why cover stocks oh, make no, a big match difference three, match four comes your way next.
But we beat them 226 to 246, very convincing. And we are still in first place after that. That's, that's a pretty big one. Our uh, pin count is now 760 uh, compared to everybody else. The person uh, right behind us, I guess, is, uh, let's see, Sean Rash has 634. That would be Kyle Troop with 671. So Kyle Troop is the one uh, trailing behind us. All right, final match of match play, 4-4, four of four, and we're 3-0, and oh, which is real great. Uh, we're still in first place, so we're en route for, uh, to become number one seed, which is great. And we're facing off against Simonson, and I do remember him. He's been a pain in the butt. He shows no mercy whatsoever. Cobra Kai, man. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but as far wide as you can I could see that, that the ball that rotated real slowly, so I knew that was going to happen. As you can see, players I knew the, the ball wasn't going to get back, to convert here. and already we're giving Simonson the opportunity to take the lead. Leans the plate here in the first. Here's the lumberjack, Anthony Simonson. See what I mean? Puts ten and two strikes in a row. All right, back on track. I don't know what happened there, why the ball rotated slowly in that previous shot. That's what I intended on doing, but the ball just decided to not do its thing. So that, that was real strange. Yeah, I kind of expected that to happen. I knew it the first half or so, up going up the lane. Already has two strikes, looking for a third. Here, nice streak going. Oh, my goodness! The lane is getting dry, and I gotta keep moving. Bit, and it went high. That shot told me all I needed to know. Scores. All right, we're moving to the left. I think we can get right there without a problem. That was Ouch. way too quick for that. Five, seven. With the five seven split, you want to hit the right side of the five pin and knock it into the seven. Not impossible. Hey, nice conversion there. there Got nice the five three. seven. Simonson drops the nickel like no it's nothing. Up in sight. Five straight to open. In the zone with this streak, it's now five in a row. No doubt. Looking very smooth right now. And he cracks open a six pack. Another strike. What the oh, heck? Ringer on that. Come on. Clearly, I'm sending the ball up the lane a little bit too quick for where I'm playing it. And for the seven bagger. Wow. Even after many months away from this game, this guy still just continues to do these things. Oh, Jesus. What happened there? Okay, clearly the ball caught some friction there. And he already has defeated me. And we're not even to the ninth frame yet. See what I mean? The ball is catching something right there. Crosses over and you see nine in a row to open up here. Oh, dude, you've got to be Line kidding me with this guy. Down. Looking for a perfect ten here, the Bo Derek. Gets away with it there. I feared this. I feared that somebody was going to do this to me, and of course. Eleven here. Just have to zone everything out, Rob. You're so close to perfection. There's another. Makes it Nothing I can do about this. We're witnessing greatness, folks. Eleven strikes. Please get 299. Now looking for that perfect game. You can oh, see frick. focus. God's sake, oh, man! Look at this. All right, so this one match Let's screwed see, it up for me. Time. I got my butt kicked. 300 to 181. That's uh, absolute humiliation. And as a result, uh, I am now the second seed instead of the number one seed.
But we made the step ladder, that's all that matters. Uh, and of course, we have to go up against him again. I, I knew it! I knew that 300 was going to jump him up to number one seed. I think. I mean, unless he was further down. I, I didn't see, but maybe you guys saw it. Today we bring you another yeah, I don't know who the number one seed was here, but uh, they've re-oiled, so that'll definitely help us going into this. That was tough. Obviously, you guys saw I was falling apart because that lane was drying up and I didn't know the right move to make. Ugh, I forgot I needed to go quicker than that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we haven't won a major because we keep screwing up at the majors. And I, if I'm not mistaken as well, we we totally dominated the World Series of Bowling. Ooh, that's going to help us. That's really going to help us. We go for a spare in the first. He goes for a split. Which I hope he doesn't convert. He doesn't. Okay, good. We got something here. We're already taking the lead. We could really get away here if we strike. And he doesn't. So he does strike. But we have, a, we have something here. So, based off of what I did there, I'm going to go about there, I believe, is what I did. And that was a lot. But it worked. Oh, that, was, that, that, that was a pinch slower than the shot on the left lane. And it, I thought it was going to go high, but it didn't. So this is going to be a little tricky. Then he had two, and he made it three. Train rolls that might be too slow. No, that was perfect. There's the turn. Now, if I'm not That's mistaken, like Anthony Simonson the has been the biggest pain the in my side really since the here. start of this nice series, and Kyle Troop was the number two pain in the butt. Yeah, Simonson so and Kyle Troop, man, those are the those are the top guys in this game. Without a shadow of a doubt, I mean, really <laughs> dude, these guys, yeah, they do not let up filthy. whatsoever. Yikes! Yes, all right. When you're in that situation Bang. where your opponent goes strike, 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 and you have to keep up with that, some really good bowling. that puts We're pressure on you. The kind of match and then you feel relief when you've done what together. you had to do, and then they have to do it. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Oh, I don't think I got it one. right yeah, enough. I knew something right wasn't right place. about that shot, but I didn't back off. Because it was kind of tough to tell. Ah, oh, couldn't convert that. Thought it had a shot, and no. we've given it right back to that him. Would have been the conversion Christ! Of the game. Going for the six pack here. Of course, he takes advantage of it. Another strike. Working off a six bagger now. Yep, the pitch oh, just keeps man. Down. This guy's gonna you beat us again. Oh boy. He's gonna beat us again. I just know it. I feel it in my soul. Looking for the double here. You see your max scores here. Oh, that's a lot of power. But it worked. But I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's coming down to the wire. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. He missed in the first, and then from that point on, he refused to miss after that. Looking for eight. Just miss just once, please. Just once. To close this out here in the tent. Um, I'm finished. What a what a what a just Got wasn't meant to be. Just a little bit, and and once high. again, no majors for me. Well, we leveled up, but that does little to mask the pain, the, the amount of pain I feel. 233 to 267. The, this, Anthony, why, why did they have to make Simonson so overpowered in this game? It's just not right. I mean, I know that, like, in real life, they would probably bowl these types of scores, but man.
Well, because of that, I am not eligible to compete in the PBA Super Slam because I didn't win the Players' Championship, the TOC, the World Championship, the Masters, the US Open. So I'm not eligible for that. Well, now that we have gotten through everything else, except for the Players' Championship, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why they blacked that one out for me. Like, I remember I participated in it, and I didn't finish it, but I didn't forfeit or anything, and then they just skipped it and put me on uh, through the World Series of Bowling next. I, I don't know why. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, the next event would be the PBA Playoffs. So that, that should be an interesting one. Uh, I guess it's going to be in the exact same format as the real-life one. We start off at the round of 16. And I don't know who we're going to go up against or where we're going to be on the bracket. Uh, I mean, who we're going to be up against in the bracket. And, yeah, we just work our way through it and see how far we can get. But uh, that's it for now. And once again, no majors. Uh, as you can see here, uh, all we have are those three titles that we got at the World Series of Bowling. Uh, Scorpion, the Cheetah, and the Chameleon. And that's it. But we have failed in all the other events. Uh, went through all five, well, four of the five, because I didn't get to do the Players' Championship. But we went through four of the five majors, and I failed in all of them. That hurts. Now I know how Jacob Butcher feels. Now I know how Chris Barnes feels. It's painful. It ain't fun. <laughs> uh, um, but anyway, that's, that's it for that, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this return. Uh, sorry it didn't end with the win of the TOC, but that Anthony Simonson is just so overpowered. Tell me, if you guys play this game, who is this what happens to you too? Is Anthony Simonson and Kyle Troop the guys that are like really difficult to beat, or is it someone else for you guys? Let me know. But Anyway, that's it for uh, this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the return of the PBA Pro Bowling 2023 series uh at some point i'll get to the playoffs and we'll see what we'll do with that but uh right now i'll leave you guys right here i'm frank the tank i will see you guys later